The city has launched a new war on unlicensed cannabis stores in Manhattan. The businesses could face eviction if they continue to break the law. CBS political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with the city's plan. Marsha. Well, Dan and Dick, unlicensed smoke shops have sprung up like weeds, you should pardon the term, ever since the state legalized the sale of marijuana. Mayor Adams wants them closed because he says they're making it more difficult for the two pot shops authorized by the state to thrive. And he says they're also magnets for crime. We won't stop until every illegal smoke shop is rolled up and stubbed out. Tough talk for Mayor Adams as he and Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg announced a new strategy to stop the proliferation of illegal unlicensed cannabis dispensaries. The DA's office sent letters to each of more than 400 known smoke shops in Manhattan, warning them that they could face eviction proceedings for unlawfully selling weed, flour, and other cannabis products. The end of alcohol prohibition in the 1930s didn't mean just anyone could start selling homemade bathtub gin uh, to their local store. Marijuana legalization in New York came with rules, and those rules must be respected. Officials want unlicensed stores evicted, shut down, to protect the two licensed vendors who have opened in Manhattan. Permits issued as part of a racial equity plan to help those hurt by the state's tough drug laws. There's also concern that the stores are becoming magnets for crime. These locations, believe it or not, if you do an analysis, they're starting to feed robbery patterns. People realize that they're, this is a cash business. They are targeting these businesses. Officials also announced with great fanfare that the NYPD and the Corporation Council had filed nuisance abatement proceedings against four unlicensed smoke shops in the East Village, seeking to shut them down for selling to underage New Yorkers. Problem is, even though it's apparently illegal to sell to minors, the nuisance abatement laws take time to get results. So what we've done is we've served the papers. So they're open right now and doing business? Yes. So the purpose of this was to do what? The purpose of the nuisance abatement yeah, is to I serve mean, them. They have to be served with notice. There's also the issue of taxes. The illegal smoke shops don't pay them. The licensed ones have to. Legal cannabis is expected to be a $1.3 billion industry, $40 million uh, per year in tax revenues. This could be a real windfall for our city. Although action to evict illegal smoke shops is now taking place in Manhattan, the mayor said he would seek to get the district attorneys in the other four boroughs to do the same thing. Dana and Dick? It might take a while, though. I think it could take a long yes, while. Yes, it will. <laughs> Thanks, Marcia. Thank you, Marcia. Uh, just two weeks ago, CBS 2's Maurice Dubois sat down with the district attorney, Alvin Bragg, for a wide-ranging conversation. And as they walked the Harlem streets, they encountered a truck selling cannabis. Seeing these trucks and other unlicensed sellers around the city is not new anymore, but coming across one while speaking with the DA presented a unique opportunity for some very timely questions. Oh, this right here, is this, is this legal? Most likely not, because yeah. we, you know, we're in a regulatory uh, gray zone. Here's the we... DA right here, here's the guy with a truck. What, what, what could be done about this? Well, we've been coordinating with, with the, the sheriff. But the short answer is nothing. It's problematic. My um, particular concern is youth sales and adulterated products. You don't know what you're buying when you're operating outside of the, the regulatory regime. And we checked on that weed truck uptown today again, and yup, it's still there.